about myself i have 11 year of experience in the sharepoint and uh, office 365 and more last 11 years i am working with the microsoft technologies i work with them i, I work the multinational clients and uh, all of the clients are very big giant in the world i have served all, uh, most of the time architectural process and all uh, different different level of processes i have certified with the pl100 platform apps maker this give me a strength uh, after my experience and after my knowledge i implement all the things in the certification so after that i got the successful certification for the pl 100 certification and also i have given a trainings in the corporate also so i have given a training on sharepoint 2013 office 365 ms teams pnp powershell power automate power apps these topics i have already i have given a training to the people i work with the multiple corporate companies so so and i have given a training to multiple people of corporate companies so those people are uh, uh, after the trainings they used the experience and knowledge in their projects and in their uh, companies so now they have done a success they have developed a lot of projects with the help of trainings so this is all about myself uh, today's agenda today's agenda is microsoft flow microsoft flow is the from with the help of microsoft flow you can create a process that will work in automatic way uh, you don't need to manual interventions automatically it will create it uh, automatically workflow will set up automatically all the process will be done so the, uh, so this microsoft pro provide a cl cloud based uh, tool so in from this tool with the help of microsoft flow you can create the process in the background whoever is submitted the request in a system after that you can process in backend with the help of microsoft flow and this is a very rich tool and very easy to understand tool without does not need of a developer knowledge you can uh, without the help of the de developer knowledge you can create the flow and we you can create the process and you can connect the more than the 500 technologies so this is a strength of flow course uh, curriculum so we have we are providing a course curriculum so in this course we have a multiple topics so once user will enroll for for this program so we will cover this introduction to flow so in this flow we will introduce to candidate like how what is the micro flow basic how it is its work in the background when you will create this flow so we will introduce about this self then create a flow from the template microsoft provide uh, the flow in the two types of one is you can create from the scratch second one you can create with the help of template so already microsoft has provided more than 2000 template from this template already some predefined logics already implemented you need to few changes according to your requirement then you can create it so so from this template you can create multiple flows from there else if this from the template your requirement is not fulfilling you can create a on template so from a scratch uh, you will create the flow then you, you will get, get the blank page after that you can actually add the actions you can add the triggers whatever things you required according to your needs according to your requirement you can create it then how you use microsoft flow in the mobile apps so we, I, we will explain about the microsoft flow with the mobile apps also and then second point build a flow so how uh, we will t tell you about this on button click let's say uh, you are the vendor once you will click on this button you, you need to notify notify to the your dealer so once you will click on the button automatically no notification or notification goes to the dealer this product is required for the vendor so this kind of things we can create from the help of flow and get the notification so once you are sending a notification to the dealer so this is also point uh, we can how we will send a notification to the dealer so this is uh, we will cover in the get notification let's say we have a two files two files is a, a a folder and we wants to move a file in the b folder on automatically and some based on the some logics don't need to require any very heavy line of code simply we will use the flow and easily we can copy a, a copy of files files or folders from one library to another library we can collect the data from the multiple sources like uh, we can connect the data from SQL. We can connect the data from the uh, Twitter. We can connect data Yammer, Jab, uh, uh, online CRM. So Microsoft is providing more than 500 services. To, you can collect the data from there. Postitutes from the flow. So let's say if something you have insert in the SQL, yeah, you have insert in the SharePoint list, and then you want to post this content in the Twitter. So with the help of flow, you can post tweets uh, on the Twitter also with the help of flow. Create a scheduled flow. 
as of now you know like uh, we have created a, in the uh, different different technology scheduler task ta- scheduler task managers and all these types of process we have created so we need to write a, uh, we need to write a code then we need to deploy on the server we need to deploy everything but in flow nothing else simply you need to go to the flow then there you will write a logics where is based on the running the scheduler process like you wants daily running you wants to monthly running you wants to weekly running you wants to every uh, hourly running you wants to every weekly running so they all are the options are available so accordingly you can schedule the flow you can perform the operations on your data on the schedule basis now we will go to the convert into a store document so whatever document is a store so nowadays big requirement we have a data we have a document in the doc format but we wants to convert into the pdf format the help of flow we can convert a document to word to the word to pdf pdf to word is connected uh, converted so this kind of process we can uh, we can use in the flow so with the help of convert a store document with the uh, help of flow also work with approvals so another topic is work with approvals so in this work with approvals so what we will do let's say uh, we will take the example of leave management so in the leave management employee wants to go on a leave but before the before go on a leave he will apply for the leaves so once he leave his leave is approved then he can go to a leave so he will submit a request in a system uh, once it submit a request request leave goes to the his team lead team lead will see oh yeah okay he is applied he, he can take an actions based on the current situations might be he can approve might be he can reject so if he is approved it will goes to the senior manager so senior manager will receive request he will read all the comments of the tl also and detail about the employee submitted so all the things he will read it if he think he think yeah he should approve he will approve and system will get the data system will get the status uh, system will get the data and status will be approved his leave is approved and data, uh, get a not- notification to the employee so this kind of process we can set up in the flow also so we can create approval process and process and approval request how process will be flow in the microsoft flow we will cover in the approval process now design a flow so what is the what is the gallery of template so i uh, as i explain you in the first point uh, we have a lot of templates already microsoft has created so with the help of template you can create it else you can create a from the scratch also editing a flow how you will edit a flow how you will design a flow so we will cover in this topic building blocks of flow i will uh, explain you about the blocks of flow every block of flow what is say and wh- how you will use and how you will go for this block what is trigger so what is trigger in this tri- uh, what is trigger in this topic we will cover in what what conditions flow will trigger let's say if any case item is adding item is added in your library list ya sql ya anywhere once request is added then flow should trigger it after if item is modified after that you wants to flow a trigger so in uh, so certain condition is already microsoft has provided so based on this uh, tri- uh, based on these actions we will trigger the flow we will cover a topic in the mic- uh, what is trigger what is action so microsoft has provided a lot of uh, actions like uh, copy items send in send a email send a approval request and uh, some conditions already predefined copy delete a file copy a file a lot of such, uh, predefined conditions is actions is there so you can according to your needs you can choose and you can apply and uh, you can add in the flow so similar kind of action is also there we can set up a connectors also so uh, how you can connect multiple data sources so uh, we have already predefined connectors so we can use with the help of uh, login credentials we can connect to the uh, connectors edit a one drive trigger so edit a one drive trigger so someone is edited any files in a one drive then we can trigger it yeah someone added any files in a one drive so we can trigger a flow editing a flow testing the flow so te- in the testing a flow means how you will test a flow once you will successfully develop a flow how you will test it so you disabling a flow sometime let's say you have created a flow then this is a useful only for the once in a year three month so after the rest of nine months it should be disabled so how you will disable it a flow add a conditions to the flow how you will add if else conditions and nested conditions switch case switch case how you will add in the flow how you will sync calendar to the office 365 calendar so google calendar and office 365 calendar how you sync it connecting to spreadsheet and fixing a flow failed flow so once you let, let's say you write down some conditions everything you have set up a flow after that 
once you go in a testing mode yeah you go in a live after that flow has failed so how you will fix it how you will identify what is the issue what is the issue is going on so i will tell you how it it will goes combine the multiple flow some of the conditions like we have created parent flow and child flow so how you will connect a parent and child flow so we will kind of combine the multiple flows disable uh, combined flow create a trigger so similar kind of actions we will use it document rejection condition if someone is rejected your document so in this condition what you will do and how you will manage it if document escalation conditions if document if i have sent a document to you and you are not taking actions on that so we will escalate to the up, 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 one, one level up to the your authority so it will take escalation will send approval email rejection email team flows so this kind of flow we will use in in the rt like uh, if uh, uh, let's say as of now we are sending an email to the people once any of action is trigger yeah we are sending a notification so flow provide a feature also like we can send the notification on the teams also so on the teams you can send a message to the people please uh, please approve this condition please whatever whatever message you wants to convey to the people you can send on the teams also this is also strength of uh, flow administration flow so use the environment to manage a flow microsoft provide a cloud based tool so on the tool what you will do on the cloud based tool you will log in from the browser in the flow portal after that you will get all your flows are there you can open it you can change it so similar kind of actions you will take on the environment data loss prevention policy so you can apply, uh, you can set up on the data loss prevention policy in the ms flow also flow interface so accessing a flow how you will access a flow like how you will log into a flow how you will access a flow who can access a share how you can access so i will provide a flow interface also quick flow access so easily and very efficient way how you can access similar kind of suite var also what is the my flows so whatever flow you have developed it you can see on your my flow sections then teams flow let's say you are working with your big teams someone is created a flow someone is someone is created two flow someone is created another flow so how you can access one to another flow so we will provide how you can access the all the people of teams teams flow approvals flow uh, approval request where you will get the approval request because microsoft has provided a console in this console whatever request it send it to the authority Le authority means let's say once i have submitted the leave request so leave request email has been triggered now it is goes to team lead so let's say if any of case accidentally tl has been deleted a email but he said oh i accidentally deleted a email so where i can get this request of approval so you uh, microsoft has provided the console you can go in the console you can find all the approval request whatever request tl has received it he can find out oh x person is uh, apply for the team uh, leave request y person apply for the leave request z person require he can take a action from the console also so we doesn't need to worry about this email if email is accidentally deleted yeah something is happened so how we will approve you can create you can go into approval section then you can uh, do it how to view the approval request so there we will cover this section template already lot of templates are there connectors are there settings are there admin managing so sometime let's say what is happening similar kind of flow we are we should we need to use in a multiple place so we can copy a flow only we need to change the data source then same flow can be used there so how you will use the copy a flow how you can export a flow from one environment to another environment so we will cover in this section let's say you are you, you have created a flow in this flow you have created a multiple connections so how you can see the connections how you will active a connections some of the time you need to delete a connections then create a connection with the another account so we will cover this topic and the last topic is how to delete a flow so in this topic we will say uh, how you will delete a flow when when we will disable a flow when we will once you will delete a flow so it's successfully deleted and not deleted so this is all about the course cur curriculum so we will cover uh, all the points in the course uh, curriculum activities uh, microsoft flow, flow training introduction microsoft flow is the process and task automation tool that help to connect a different application self together microsoft itself define a flow as a tool to create a automatic workflow between the two favorite apps service get notification synchronize the file collected data and more this is a course deliver uh, this is a course and instructor lead to product showcase for the microsoft flow to start to finish engaging a practical way 
flow diverse the product turning the business process into automatic consistent and visual workflow flow is designed in the interway interway the various product in the office 365 as well as connect to the other on premises web, web based solutions this is a course will give you confidence to select a right action to workflow logic for your business workflow so microsoft flow so microsoft flow is provide the automation task tool previously what is happening let's say i will take the example of sharepoint so sharepoint uh, microsoft provide a tightly coupled with the sharepoint designer workflow so this workflow only work for the sharepoint only if you wants to connect to the sql if you wants to connect to the any sql if you wants to connect to crm if you wants to connect to the salesforce so you cannot connect it but microsoft has flow, uh, created a flow uh, ms flow so um, with the help of ms flow you can connect to the n number of technologies with a single platform first thing second thing you doesn't need to require any developer knowledge for this developer knowledge it doesn't need to require any kind of uh, technical knowledge with the help of your business process business knowledge and with the help of little bit of basic knowledge of business you can create uh, the microsoft flow so microsoft flow provide the rich feature and highly scalable so easily you can connect to the multiple apps with the help of microsoft flow like let's say you can connect on the sharepoint sql crm online linkedin twitter and more than 500 technologies you can connect with the help of flow here is good thing about the microsoft flow is you can connect to the any of technology with the cloud based let's say crm cloud linkedin azure you can connect to the azure also you can connect to the teams also you can connect to the any of technology you can connect it so all of the technology are connected with the pipe flow on the single platform first thing second thing this is the cloud based doesn't need to require any uh, vpns doesn't need to require any uh, any kind of uh, i can say quite any system specific you can log in from the anywhere in the world and uh, you can log in from the browser and uh, you can start your work you can you can modification you can develop a flow from anywhere in the world this is the strength of flow now next i will go to the microsoft flow trainings in the market so microsoft power automate all about the process automation so power automate allow to the anyone with the knowledge of business process create the repeatable flow when the trigger leap action perform process for them on the branding side microsoft flow is called a power automate microsoft flow it's come into the power automate so power automate is big package inside the my inside the power automate there is one module is called microsoft flow microsoft come with the power automate in last four years ago after that inside the power automate they have provided a lot of things like microsoft flow power apps office 365 a lot of the things that they have given in the power bi also a part of power automate so these all are things they have created a package like uh, power or ms flow power apps power pi this all are the things they have connected and they are saying this is power automate power automate is cloud based tool as i explained you in the last slide this is a fully cloud based tool you do not to require any kind of a specific uh, vpn any platform dependency and see an intranet kind of dependency like you can log in from only office office locations you can log in log in from anywhere you can open the open the flow anywhere in any any anywhere any locations you, if you will see on branding side microsoft flow is power automate power automate is the cloud based software tool allow to employ to create automate workflow across the multiple application service without need of developer without need of developer help microsoft flow power automate is best product for the microsoft and it came to the organize as a part of office 365 we have been using for the three years now it's one of the best uh, product to automate the our work efficiently all are the uh, microsoft flow is come under the office 365 power automate is also come under the office 365 product so microsoft one of the biggest uh, section is office 365 come under the power automate so office office 365 uh, root of microsoft then uh, it is come under the office 365 as a power automate inside the power automate we have a, another thing is ms flow power apps power bi and different different things and we uh, microsoft flow microsoft has a big roadmap for the next 12 years 15 years and they have a vision for with the microsoft flow how they will go weekly monthly and uh, weekly monthly they are adding a multiple data source connectivity they are adding a more so sources to connect with the power flow and they are adding a daily um, monthly weekly multiple actions triggers you can suggest to microsoft after once you a suggestion is accepted they, they are adding in the system also so this is about the microsoft flow training in a market microsoft flow training certification 
so with the microsoft flow training certification if you are doing a microsoft flow so you can you can do a uh, blow certification like pl 900 so microsoft power platform fundamental so uh, microsoft power platform fundamental uh, here is basic of all the how power power automate go how power platform go so in this in this certification you can cover the 60 um, percent of flow so 40 percent of power apps pl 100 is like uh, you can say intermediate uh, because uh, PL 900 for the beginner PL 100 is for the kind of we can say this is fully based on the developer and apps how you will design in the PL apps and how you will use the flow in the apps also PL 200 is for the functional consultant and PL 400 for the power platform developer and some more certification for the architect and other level also this is all about the training certifications then mind magics will once you will successfully complete a training so we will provide a course completion certification so you can submit to it. if you are as a fresher so you can submit to your company you can show showcase them your strength at the time of interview else you are professional then you can keep your profile weightage also some trainings available in the google also microsoft also provided some basics of a flow so you can go there and check out uh, microsoft training projects will be demonstrated so i have a three projects one is the intranet projects in this uh, intranet in this project we have developed more than 100 flow 100 to 100 flow we have created and we and we have designed with the multiple requirement and we have designed for the multiple pupils and uh, different different kind of requirement we have developed in a flow and very highly and scalable projects and last three uh, two and a half years i am using this flow in this project intranet ehk usa and comerica bank all are the projects i am using and this is the flow giving a good feel once you develop a flow like uh, once you develop a flow then you you can de debug easily you can identify the root cause you can identify the where issue is coming where where you are stacking at this moment of workflow because in my past experience i have used a sharepoint designer workflow and some other workflow also there you easily you cannot debug it debugging is very high very tough for uh, tough in this scenario but in the flow you can easily debug first thing you can identify where issue is come in the flow so you can identify and you can fix it very easily you can check how where issue is coming and where and uh, automatically the system will identify if something is going wrong system will not uh, will not allow to save your flow so this is a very good strength of flow a uh, similar kind of thk usa i have developed a lot of the flows and lot of the apps also created so i have a good knowledge about the power apps also so we will cover later on this topic because power apps and flow is very nearby connected if someone is using the flow so mostly people are nowadays using the power apps also so power app whenever whatever connections you are, whatever connections you are using in the apps also so you can help of flow also you can get the data on the forms later on we will cover this topic we have created a lot of uh, flows in this projects so i can say more than 200 to 200 flows we have created till now and we have successfully delivered a lot of the bugs we have reported to the microsoft and microsoft appreciated and they have provided the appreciation on the bugs like you have provided daily we are using and we are getting a requirement and we are we are developing requirements so developing requirement while developing requirement that time we are facing a challenges then we so we identify what is the bug in a product so we identify five to ten bugs in the flow so we have fixed it microsoft is also fixed these bugs because we have reported a bugs in the last when project product come in the market so they appreciate to us now flow is very stable tool and in the, uh, microsoft has a vision for the next 20 years 25 years they are day by day improving and adding more features in this flow also this is all about the project demonstrate so while you will create a microsoft flow training lab setup you need a, some kind of a predefined requirement so you need to access of office 365 once you will have access of office 365 you will get the power automate feature inside there then once you will access of power uh, flow platform you can log in you can you can access from your login credentials then you will enter in a, you will enter into the flow platform from after that you can create a flow you can see whatever flow you have created and your teams are created a flow the system requirement is only required a google chrome microsoft edge mozilla firefox and apple safari any of browser you should have so from the browser you can log in on the flow platform then windows mac os ios android 
so it's supporting windows 8 windows 10 mac latest version of macs mac yeah ios yeah android so you uh, set up office 365 account you should have have access of office 365 account have access of microsoft flow so once you will have access of office 365 account you should have access of microsoft flow in the office 365 account this is a training lab setup microsoft flow training additional courses so uh, if you are taking a course of uh, office microsoft flow then you can take the uh, training of power apps sharepoint office 365 also because th these all are the very tightly coupled you can take the training of these topics also this is some basic questions people ask in the mock interviews uh, what is the action trigger in ms flow what are the conditions in a flow how you will schedule instance flow can we turn off disabled basic questions they will ask for you flow training demonstration questions thank you